guys, welcome back to Ava's Flavor. I'm Ava, and today it's getting a little spooky in here. Whee! <laughs> I am going to show you guys how to make a uh, mummy meatloaf, a mummy fried meatloaf. Um, it's gonna be uh, the top's gonna be wrapped in bacon. So isn't that the best way to be mummified? If I was gonna be mummified, I'd want to be wrapped in bacon, right? <laughs> okay, so this is super uh, easy for Halloween. You can make this for your Halloween. Okay, baby. You can make this for your guests for Halloween or uh, just to make it for you to eat. And do you like my costume? I'm like a touristy witch. <laughs> I thought I had a witch's hat, so I didn't. So I just said I'll just be a touristy witch. Let me flip this up so you can see me a little better. Okay. All right, let me show you guys uh, what you're going to need. So first what you're going to need is a pound of ground pork and a pound of ground Chuck Norris meat. Four slices of bacon. Oh, about a half a cup or so of grated onion. A half a cup of, <laughs> a half a cup of milk. A cup Parmesan cheese. Two large beaten eggs. A couple ta tablespoons Italian parsley. And two slices of bread. Okay, and for the delicious blood glaze that's gonna go on the top, you're gonna need a teaspoon of ground mustard, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a cup of ketchup, and a couple dashes of hot sauce. Okay guys, so first what you're gonna do is get your two pieces of sandwich bread and just crumble them up really, really good. Um, this is gonna keep the meatloaf nice and moist. Okay, and this is the same meatloaf. I did an episode on this meatloaf. Um, a while ago and it's delicious it's my favorite so you're just going to crumble these up this bread up really really nicely and then we're going to pour um the half a cup of milk over the top and just kind of set that to the side and let it soak so while that's soaking in uh the milk bath we are going to oh let me take off my uh ring for this because I'm about to dive into some meat. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do with our meat mixture. We're gonna take um, some salt, a good amount of salt, okay? And then we're going to just start dumping in. We got our egg here, our parsley, uh, what else? Oh, our cheese, we can't forget about our cheese. And then of course our grated onion. And uh, Chubbo loves this meatloaf, but he always forgets that I put grated onion in it. Look at, there's onion juice in there too. Makes it delicious. And then, I think we're good. Okay, so um, the bread crumb, crumbs, <laughs> um, the bread crumbs are, well, I'll let them soak for, let me let these bread crumbs soak for another minute or so, and then we're gonna dump those in here and then mix it up gently, okay? Because you don't wanna overmix the meatloaf, just give it a nice mas massage. Okay, so the bread crumbs are nice and soaked, and now we're just going to dump those in there. And then if you don't wanna, or did I say bread crumbs? I meant bread. And you can use bread crumbs if you want instead of the bread, okay? So just kinda go through and give it a nice uh, massage. All right, so look, I plopped them on a roasting pan here and I wanted to do that because then all the uh, grease is gonna soak down to the bottom. It's okay to have your mummy head a little greasy, but you don't want it too greasy. So I just formed it into like a head like, see? See, and I got the little eyes. Look, it's looking mummy like. <laughs> um, and for the glaze, all I did was mix all the ingredients in a, a bowl. Here it is, nice blood glaze. And I'm just going to take a little bit, just pour a little bit over the top. See? And then just a little bit is all you want. And then reserve the rest for later when it's done. And just kind of brush this um, over the top. And let's see. Just get it in there nice and good. Get, get the little eyeball holes. But that's okay because for the eyes, I'm going to use some onions that I cut. Just kind of stick them in there right doesn't that look cool it's a little look at Chevo. what do you think honey 
<laughs> okay, and then for the teeth, I'm gonna use little garlic cloves, right? So this will keep the vampires away too. Perfect. Okay, so, it, oh gosh, it scared me. <laughs> it's spooky in there. Okay, so for the teeth, you can use however uh, many teeth you wanna put on here. And of course, they don't have to be perfect. Uh, mommies didn't have dental insurance, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. Here we go. And it's okay if your garlic too has little brown spots because there, look it. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and now I'm gonna start wrapping it with bacon. The most important part, I almost forgot. What do you think, baby? Mm -hmm. Like mommy's little mummy skull? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you're gonna take your bacon and of course you can use as many pieces as you want. I'm just using four today and just kind of wrap it around like a mummy. Oh, and of course, also don't forget to have your oven preheated to 350. Oh, those are, this is bacon. Mommy's wrapping the mummy in bacon. Look it. This is so cool. Isn't this perfect? I saw this idea online and I said I have to do this. You want some bacon? Okay, look it, see? Look at that, isn't that so cool? <laughs> so I'm just gonna slap that in the oven at 350 for about an hour and then I'll show you guys when it's all done. All right guys, look it, isn't it beautiful? And so it uh, baked for about an hour and like the last 10 minutes I put a little bit more glaze on it uh, and let that cook. And um, I put it on this tray so it's more presentable. Um, you can leave it on the uh, roasting pan if you want or kind of do this look it looks all bloody and everything It looks beautiful doesn't it and also to go with it. I made these ghostly garlicky mashed potatoes Which I'll um, I'll show uh, on my Ava Slava Facebook page I'll put the recipe for that on there so you guys can try it because you got to have the garlic to keep the vampires away, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take a bite of this delicious uh, mummy head all right, so I got a little bit of uh, the garlicky mashed potatoes. They're delicious. I'm gonna dive in for a bite. Yummy, trick or treat. Here's some meatloaf, mama fried meatloaf. It's so stinking yummy. I love it. It's spooky looking. It's perfect for Halloween. And I think you guys will love it. A notorious TIP is um, Eat lots of garlic to keep the vampires away. Maybe I keep saying, <laughs> I don't have anything. What do you want from me? Um, and I realized how stupid my costume was. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about it earlier. This is really stupid. I should have been the mermaid chick from Starbucks, right? And put a little crown on and the long hair. That could have been me, right? Jebo, shake that belly. What do you think? Okay, guys, I promise that you'll love this and um, make this for Halloween and uh, send me some pics or something. Okay, um, Subscribe to me and check out my Ava's Flavor Facebook page and like it. And that's where I put the recipe for these delicious potatoes, mashed potatoes that you'll love. And then I will see you guys next time. Bye!